All right, YouTube. Uh, we got another item here from Strike Industries. Um, what this is, is this is the G4 slide comp made for the Glock 17, 19, 22, 31, and 32. Uh, what this is, this is a compensator for your pistol. Uh, let's open this up real quick. Um, as you'll see here, all your Strike Industries boxing. And then the first thing that's in here is what you'll see is the good and the bad. If you notice here, um, it's not sitting flush and you'll see what we mean there um, when we actually mount this to the device. And inside the box and the bag, we actually have our compensator, an Allen key, and a Gen 3 guide rod. And that's really all you need to get this all set up. No need for a threaded barrel or anything like that. I'm gonna move these real quick and I'm gonna bring my Glock 19 Gen 4. Um, that is safe, I'll show that here. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break this down real quick. So we'll do this, remove the slide. And as you hear, you see your Gen 4 guide rod spring. And what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna unscrew these locking screws here. There are six of them on this device. So we're just gonna loosen these up real quick. And what you'll see in the links below is going to be where you can actually buy these. If you want to pull that out all the way, I like to keep them in there just a little so that we don't lose anything. So I'll post the links below. Also, later on coming uh, is actually going to be the shooting of this video. So we'll shoot that. This will slide right out. And the rounded part, of course, goes with the rounded part of the frame, or slide, sorry. Uh, then we're going to take our Gen 3 recoil spring. That's going to slide right in there. It's going to get that nice and tight flush. And what we'll do is we'll just lock this in. We'll take our Gen 4 slide comp. Put this right on here and we'll notice that it nice it lines up nice and flush with the slide uh, my slide does have a little bit of wear uh, it's been my everyday carry gun for the last two years um, and i tighten this up across from each other so that we get everything all lined up nice and neat and then what we'll do is we'll do this side we'll do one of the bottoms here and here and this will be it this is a super easy installation there we go if you are wanting to do this permanently um, I would recommend a little blue Loctite I'm gonna be re removing this at the end of the video and show you how easy it is to remove we're gonna put this right on the slide here frame And that is it. You have a compensated Glock 19. As we can see, we have our portholes here. And then when we're going back, you'll see where the barrel, so you know how it cocks up a little. And that's it. So super simple, super fun to shoot. I'm gonna be guessing, cause it's gonna take that recoil out of there. Um, and it's also gonna help with the muzzle flip. So what we're gonna do is as soon as uh, we get some range time. Uh, we'll take this to the range, shoot this. We're going to dismantle this one more time. Take this apart. And put her back in the box. Um, I will have all the links for this uh, in the area underneath the video. Um, you can purchase these from Strike Industries, like I said. And then if you're liking what we're doing here, you're already on the YouTube channel. The other thing you can do is you can follow me on Facebook at M2 Elite Tactical. 
and Instagram at M2 Elite Tactical. So let's get this off. A little bit more. Nope, got that all the way out. Didn't want to do that, but oh well. Looks like it's this front one. And then you want to make sure we don't lose any of these little lug screws. So we'll slide this right off. Want to make sure they're all out. I like to try and keep them right there. Take that out. We're going to take our Gen 4 guide rod back. Slide that in here. And we are back to my everyday carry gun. So thank you very much once again for watching the videos. Uh, like, share, subscribe. As we have new stuff coming out, we're going to be contacting some other manufacturers for some new gun toys. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good night.